Hi guys, Paul here from Pilgrim Motorsports and Muscle Car UK. Just wanted to show you what we've just arrived back in is a Wimbledon White 1968 plastic Mustang. Have a look at this as we come towards it. We call these a survivor car because it's pretty much as it left the factory. I mean, the obvious thing that you will notice, obviously the wheels have been upgraded. They're 17 inch now, whereas they would have been on 15 inch, maybe hubcaps in their day. But over the years, people do tend to change the wheels. But other than that, it really is a genuine car. Uh, if you look at, it had the vinyl roof put on it when it was new as well. So this was a thing of the 60s and 70s. You know, in, in the UK, we had the Cortinas had the vinyl roofs, the Granadas had the vinyl roofs. You know, so it was, it was a trendy thing to have. And of course, this really does epitomize it being a 1960s car. So when you look at the car and some people, you know, it's a bit Marmite. Some people like it, some people don't. But personally, I think they look great because they look of its age and they, they make it look very much a period. The colour, obviously it's been restored, but it's still the original Wimbledon white. So if you look down the side of the car, it's, you know, it's, it's paint is absolutely beautiful. The chrome is all intact and as it should be, very original. Coming through all the, all the badging, the 289, which, which is the V8 that it's got in there, is all absolutely perfect. Again, 17 inch wheels, absolutely beautiful. All the chrome work around the front, I would imagine it's been replaced to be truthful when it was restored. So it, it's all new. You've got the pony in the corral, the slightly different grill. But if you notice, you know, all the, um, the door shuts and where the wings arrive on the, each panel, they all fit very well and very flush. And again, the, the the paintwork is really smooth, you know, you're not looking at any rust issues or, you know, any micro blistering or anything like that, which, you know, the old cars can suffer from. All the wheel arches are nice and sharp, all as they should be, rock solid. These have been, um, been uh, slightly beveled in because they've got slightly bigger wheels, so, so that hopefully it doesn't hit the, uh, hit, hit the tire. But other than that, absolutely gorgeous. Really is a lovely, lovely original car. In 68, when this came off the, uh, the factory line, it was the one to have. It really was a gorgeous car. But I'll show you inside now, let's have a look. So here we are inside. I mean, this is obviously a 68. Now, all through the years, the 65, 66, 67, 68, they did have differences in the actual seating. And this, I can tell immediately, this is a 68 seats, but they're slightly different, just slightly different. Like this has a sort of a, for want of a better word, sort of a leather look to it. Um, but they are vinyl, they're all vinyl, unless you have them actually handmade into leather. This has got the original console with the car as well, which is lovely. And you can see here, it's got the little garage door that they call them, which is you put your knickknacks in there. <laughs> but again, just done nicely, looks really good. It's had an upgrade stere um, stereo here. This is um, a modern stereo, but it's obviously made to look like a vintage retro. So you can get, you know, DAB and Bluetooth and everything from that, which is great. This car, when it was new, <coughs> had, um, had air conditioning as well, and it's got, it's got the original air conditioning over this side that you can see the original controls, which are still used today, although it's been upgraded to a more modern system, it still keeps the original dials, which is really great. Um, I think the, uh, the dials have been upgraded as well. It's had a new dash to it. As you can see, all the, um, the, uh, the roof liner and everything has all been changed. Uh, carpets are all good, all been changed. And I've got here a Marty report, which a lot of people, you know, you might hear about Marty reports. And they're basically many years ago, ago um, a woman who was working for Ford uh, by the name, would you believe, Mrs. Marty, um, asked if she could keep all the um, old receipts, the original bills of sale, etc., etc. Ford had no problem with that because they were just burning them. So she kept them. So very shrewd she was as well. And her family now run Marty Auto Works, which means it's, you can find out. Um, about your Mustang, how it really left the factory and what it left with. It, it won't do the early cars, the so 65, 66, because unfortunately they were already binned before, long before she got her hands on it. But 67, 68, you've got a fair chance. And we've got one for this car, to which I'm going to show you. You can, see, you can see here that this car was built in San Jose, California. It was actually sold um, in San, by a Ford dealer in San Jose as well. So it obviously must have lived very close to the factory. Um, again, it, it was built with a black vinyl roof, it, it tells us here. It has a, a console, as we pointed out. It has power steering, air conditioning. It did have an AM radio, which at the day would have been something special. Tinted glass and wheel covers, so hence it would have had the hubcaps as we know them in the UK. But obviously over the years they've been changed to more of an alloy and possibly a better look. So this tells you literally when it was sold. Um, and exactly, it was Wimbledon white with the black vinyl standard bucket seats, which it's got. It was scheduled for build in July 1968. 
Um, it had the C4 selector, automatic transmission. So this, this, this also, so this basically tells you all about the car. You have to send away from, but they're worth doing because if you've got if you've got a car that you you know you're really in love with and you want to know how it really started life and where it was from, it's a good thing to have because you can find out a lot about the car. And, that, and we try and get them for most of our cars. Um, they do take a while to come through because obviously in America, but in our office in America, we send away so we get them back pretty quickly. But um, this really is an exceptional car and a uh, really good car to come and possibly have a drive in and see if you'd like to own something that's really special. But the paintwork's looking good all in, you know, all in, I'm just noticing in the, you know, the door shuts here, it's all great, all been done correctly. So um, let's have a look underneath the bonnet. Okay, let's have a look, see what's under here. 289 V8 is exactly what you'd expect, but beautifully finished. I mean, I think I've explained on many of the videos before, in, inside the engine compartment, it was always done in like a satin black. That's how they were. It was just the body color was whatever it may have been, but the, the, the actual inside the engine here, as this one is, is still in satin black. It's obviously had an upgrade to a beautiful alloy rad, as you can see here. Um, it's got the air conditioning unit here, power steering underneath, servo disc brakes. Now that, they didn't come new with servo disc brakes on this particular car but um, that has been added by ourselves. So you've got literally everything. You can see the servo there, and you've got the disc, disc brake conversion at the front. It's got nice, um, nice rocker covers here, Mustang powered by Ford, which is you know, very pretty to have, and obviously a Ford racing air filter. But very, very good. As you can imagine, the chassis and everything else is absolutely rock solid. Um, Beautiful underneath, underneath, no sort of welding or anything like that, just as you would imagine. It's lived in California all its life and um, just a beautiful car underneath the, the bonnet. It's, uh, it's just as good as the top as we always like to see. It's always a good sign that the, the car has been correctly painted and the job's been done properly. So beautiful car, drives superbly. If you want something to have a bit of fun in, uh, come and get it. Right, hi there everybody. Uh, Adrian here from Muscle Car UK. And we're out this afternoon in this beautiful sunny afternoon in West Sussex in a 68 289 Mustang Coupe. Really nice car this one. I bought this up in the Central Valley of Northern California from a Mustang enthusiast up there who this was the twin to his S550 in the same color electric blue. Now we bought this car back and uh, it proved to be as good as I thought it was and totally corrosion free and we decided having decoded it to put it back into its original color of Wimbledon white so it's been subjected to a really high quality uh, repaint and the car now sits beautifully on a set of really nice uh, alloy wheels it still has its power steering which it was supplied new with but it's been upgraded with air conditioning which uh, keeps the cabin nice and cool particularly on a day like this and being the 68 it comes with a really much more comfortable set of front bucket seats these are much thicker and deeper than the uh, earlier cars from 64 through 67 which had very similar seats albeit with slightly different uh, designs to the upholstery but these are much thicker and they were basically under development for the um, bigger and more spacious mustangs to come the 69 fastbacks uh, particularly popular today but this coupe real pleasure to drive this very responsive throttle extremely powerful although um, the only modification really to the engine has been uh, the uh, fitting of a four barrel carburetor and uh, a matching inlet manifold um, but having said that the the motor performs extremely well gear change very smooth standard three-speed automatic box uh, very nice uh, full-length center console inside again in black with the black headlining so the contrast of the uh, car uh, the white uh, Wimbledon white paint with the black interior really good looking car great pleasure to drive nice wood rim steering wheel and the best and most important upgrade on the car is the fitting of a Willwood disc brake conversion to the front brakes and they're uh, drilled and slotted disc brakes on there which give much improved stopping power over the original probably a drum brake car uh, when it left the factory so overall a really nicely appointed car in excellent driving condition but with the uh, body shell as good as it left the factory and now in a superb 
finish done by my own body shop of the original Wimbledon White. So what a car. And I'll just put my toe down here. You'll probably hear that exhaust kick in. Gives a really nice rumble without too much to shock anybody out there on the streets, but what a lovely sound. 